Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 9. Today's topic is proteins. I am Ritrisha from GK Today and I'll be taking you through this. Firstly, what are proteins made of? Proteins are made of chains of amino acids. They are bound by bonds called peptide bonds. There are some 22 different known amino acids which can compose proteins. There may be many more which are unknown to us. How do proteins function? So numerous combinations of amino acids can form different polypeptide chains. And these different arrangement of amino acids form a great variety of proteins. And proteins can take different configurations as well. And they play a lot of different important roles in biological processes. So what are the functions of proteins in the body? So there are several types of proteins which do specific functions. There are defensive proteins which uh, form antibodies to respond to invasion. There are enzymatic proteins which increase the rate of reactions, build and break down molecules. There are hormonal proteins like insulin and glucagon which control blood sugar. There are receptor proteins, cell surface molecules that cause cells to respond to signals and storage proteins which store amino acid for metabolic processes. There are structural proteins which is, are a major component of hair and skin. And transport all proteins such as hemoglobin which carries oxygen from lungs to cells. What are amino acids? So amino acids are the basic units of proteins. There are 22 known amino acids and a lot which we don't know about yet. Each amino acid has at least one carboxyl group, which is C-double-OH, one amine group, which is NH2, and a hydrogen atom. Further, there is a variable radical called R. Now, all of these are bound to a central carbon atom, as you can see on the right-hand side figure. How are amino acids bonded? So, this variable radical that we uh, just learned, R, uh, it may be a simple hydrogen atom or it might be a complex chain of carbon atoms or even a simple methyl group. So it, R is what distinguishes amino acids uh, from each other. Now two amino acids are bound by a peptide bond. The peptide bond is such that carboxyl group of one amino acid is connected to the nitrogen atom of the amine group of another amino acid. So, uh, one carbon to one nitrogen group. That is the uh, how they are connected, as you can see on the figure. So, C is connected to N and so on. A molecule of water is released when such a bond is established. How are there so many diverse kinds of proteins formed? So amino acids can bind through peptide bond and create linear chains. The same amount of amino acids can create different proteins by just different arrangement or sequences. So uh, the structural complexity makes the protein so versatile that relatively slight environmental changes can cause a shift in structural levels which may radically change the function of the protein. So a chain of more than 50 peptide molecules is called a polypeptide and proteins are basically very complex structures of multiple polypeptide chains. They require up to four levels of structure in order to be functional. So what are the four levels of protein structure? So the four levels are primary where polypeptide chain is up to 500 amino acids and they are covalently bonded. The sequence is important and unique for each polypeptide. Secondary where the formation of hydrogen bonds uh, occurs between nearby amino acids causing the polypeptide chain to twist or pleat as you can see in the figure. Tertiary, where distant amino acids form bonds and associations in reaction to changes that occur outside of those bonds. And quaternary, where two separate polypeptide chains intermingle 
to form a molecule that has a larger more complex structure than what was found on the protein level now what causes proteins to cease functioning so the secondary tertiary quaternary structures of protein are spatial structures so they have uh, one central uh, bonded atom and everything else connects to that if there is any change in that structure the protein will denature or it is going to disintegrate now this denaturation may or may not be reversible the factors that cause it uh, can be temperature change in ph or even change in concentration of solutes in the surrounding environment this is the reason that organisms need to maintain a stable internal temperature and ph so that proteins including in enzymes and other uh, uh, bodily functions can be performed what happens to proteins when cooked so when we cook proteins become denatured so this is the reason that a uh, boiled egg becomes hard and cooked meat becomes firm so in raw egg the egg white is transparent and liquid but bo when boiled and cooked the protein structure breaks down and the egg turns so a solid mask and opaque what are the essential and non essential amino acids so uh, we know 12 of the 22 amino acids can be synthesized by our body so these are non essential essential amino acids are those that the body is not able to synthesize and which need to be taken as diet so examples of some essential amino acids are uh, histidine is uh, isoliquine lysine etc <coughs> what are some common proteins So myosin protein when bound to actin produces muscle contractions. CD4 is a membrane protein in some lymphocytes the cells that are infected by HIV. Albumin is an energy storage protein and also important for osmoregulatory agent for blood. Keratin is a protein with structural function which is present in the epidermis and skin appendages of vertebrae so present in hair and nails Immunoglobulins are antibodies specific proteins that attack any inactive foreign agents that enter the body Reverse transcriptase is the enzyme protein responsible for transcription of RNA and the formation of DNA in the life cycle of retroviruses and we all know hemoglobin is the protein that carries oxygen from the lungs to cell insulin is a hormone which is secreted by the pancreas and it participates in the metabolism of glucose it controls blood sugar basically so that's all for this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe to our channel gk today the next video will be up soon till then thank you and goodbye